What's up goodies? Welcome back to your channel and to my kitchen how to cook. Today we are making sweet and sour chicken drumsticks in the kitchen fast, easy and simple. Be sure you subscribe if you have not already and turn on the post notifications so you won't miss any of these uploads. After all, I'm a returning goodies. Oh no, don't know so no girl, love on to the max. On a ready for cook? Come on, let's cook. Look what prayer can do. Hypocrite and bad mind must flow. The same out to a tear for you. I the same one them would turn round and boo. Yeah. Pray on me, I use and win. Pray on me, I use and win. Okay, goodies, let's cook up this thing in the kitchen, huh? Fast, easy, and simple. All right, we have our jumpsticks here that has already been nicely washed with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar. vinegar. Because I don't know, son of a girl, I always make sure she have food nice and clean, right? Now, let me season up the thing. Now, we're going to add some salt here. And to the salt, we're going to add some black pepper. Now, we're going to season up this thing really nice and mellow, right? So, be sure that you add, in fact, some uh, onion powder to it. And you're definitely, definitely going to add some garlic powder combination to your drumstick as well now after you have done those four things so far what you want to do here is add some chicken seasoning because you are in fact cooking chicken right so we add some chicken seasoning here and then I have some uh, combo seasoning here um, this is not the Ocherous one but it is another brand but we'll talk about that I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna talk about it but we'll talk about it now also I'm adding some Maggi all-purpose seasoning you could also substitute that out for sure right whatever that you have in your kitchen now what I'm doing here is adding just a little bit of turmeric to it just a tad bit of turmeric not a lot you could add curry powder if you want and then of course you want to add some paprika now I definitely went in and add some dried parsley flakes to the mix as well this is necessary for this step but you could add other greenery if that is what you have now add some oil to it just a little bit of oil any kind of oil will do I did go back in and add some chili powder to it as well just to kick it up a little knot a little knot right now that's all I did right here now of course you could season this thing overnight but I only let mine sit for 30 minutes why because I made a 30 minute girl all right so I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes on my countertop at room temperature. Now, if you're going to put this in the refrigerator overnight, you want to take it out at least an, an hour or so before you get ready to move on to the recipe. But nevertheless, you want your chicken to be looking like this when you done this step. Seasoning that is. Season your chicken really good. And of course, once again, goodie, you could substitute any of the seasons of choice here. Now. Moved right along in another container. I added some flour here to be exact. I'm adding all purpose flour only. Now, to the all purpose flour, I went in and added my cornstarch here again. Goody, I will list everything that I'm using for the recipe, it will be in the description part of this video, right? So, go ahead and check it out. Now, you want to be sure to add some baking powder. Do not add baking soda to the recipe. You want to be sure to go in with your baking powder only. Now, what I decided to, to do here was give it a little flavor. Of course, I went in and add some black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. I didn't add any salt here, but of course you can do just that. Also, I did go in and add some of the Maggie seasoning. Add once again whatever it is that you like. This is the one that I have here, the Maggie All Purpose Season. I went in again with some of the chicken season because, yeah, we have cooked chicken, right? So we add the chicken seasons to the flour. And I did go in and add just a tad bit of the paprika and the dried parsley flakes as well, right? And that is all I added here. Now you want to be sure that once you add all your seasons to the flour mix, be sure that you combine everything out nicely. Give it a nice little stir for at least a minute or so, um, or as needed, okay? And we're all set right here. Now, all you have to do here, after the 30 minutes at room temperature, your chicken, that is, you want to go, and well, this is how I do it. I always just go ahead and just uh, throw them bad boys up in the flour and give it a nice little mix. Let me season it up all over again. What I'm doing here is having the flour mix um, cling on to the chicken 
Now, for some of you, you might say you don't like chicken drumsticks, you can definitely, definitely use any other chicken parts that you like, wings, um, hip, breast, whatever you like, you go ahead and you use it, okay? Just make your uh, kitchen your own. Now, what I did though, um, I did do it like double time. So after the first time, I took it out, put it in the back in the container, put the chicken back in the flour mix, and I did kind of squeeze. You want to put it in there and kind of squeeze it on there. Um, and I did not use any egg for this recipe. No eggs, y'all. Don't use any eggs because you are making sweet and sour. And if you add egg to the chicken, it is going to give the chicken that eggy flavor in the sweet and sour mix. You don't want to do that, y'all. So just go ahead and um, do it just like I'm doing here. And of course, you could use boneless chicken for the recipe. Now I'm going to use my deep fryer here. If you don't have, want to use your deep fryer like I'm doing, just go ahead and place oil into a pan on your stove top. Make sure say it is nice and hot, at least 350 degrees in heat. Dunk it in the oil. Let it cook for about seven to eight minutes. Um, 10 minutes at the most until it's nice, crispy, and golden brown. And when you are done, this is what you have. Now my deep fryer is not really, really big. Um, and I don't want to overcrowd the deep fryer and I only made eight drumsticks here So I did add four drumsticks to the deep fryer and then I did the other four Later on okay, so what I did here was very simple Let's go ahead and just move remove these bad boys from the deep fryer and I just let them go ahead and sit and hang out um, and my second batch is right here um, it is nice and crispy and crunchy. Um, if you want, if you do not want to do step number two, as I will show you later on, you could go ahead and let your sick your chicken sit and um and rest. I will show you how to do the sauce if you don't want to combine the sauce and the chicken together. But of course, um, it is going to be up to you to know what is exactly what you need, okay? Or you want this thing to do. But I'm going to show you what I did in my kitchen, and you can do the same. Now, moving right along, this is all the seasons that we are going to be um, using for step number two, and that is making our sauce. We have our onions and garlic and, and um, ginger, bell pepper, pineapple, um, and I have a lot of ginger here, y'all, and I have a lot of garlic. Um, I have my pineapple juice here, apple cider vinegar, ketchup, oil, um, a little bit of food coloring, which is red, and I'm using some corn starch here. And again, I will list everything that I'm using for the recipe down in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Out that is. Now, this is what I did. In a pan, I added the oil, the butter, and the corn starch here. With my fire had a medium heat we're not trying to have this thing cook up really 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 fast we're making a nice little paste here but a very delicate paste okay not very thick because we are making sweet and sour sauce stacked up with all its glory which is its vegetables okay on um, period so it's very simple here y'all just go ahead and just um, combine these uh, three together and just let it melt just like it looks right here after you have achieved that you want to go in and add the pineapple juice a little at a time do not dunk all of the pineapple juice to it don't do it that way because you will ruin the mix okay once you pour it in there you're not going to be able to take it out okay so just add a little at a time here and allow the thickener to thicken up. You're going to allow it, the cornstarch, to thicken up. Now, also, a friendly note here for some of you might say, I don't have cornstarch. Of course, you could have flour. You could use flour for the recipe as well. Now, as you can see here, I'm just adding the pineapple juice a little at a time and spinning generously as I go along. Now, y'all, if you're still here watching me cooking, please go ahead and hit that subscribe for me and turn on your post notifications so that way you will know when I upload brand new videos. YouTube is critical on these uh, thumbs up, okay? So go ahead and show some love here. Now, what I did here was add some apple cider vinegar to it and I'm going to spice it up with whatever kind of a seasoning that I choose to use here. Of course, you could take away and multiply, but I'm just adding um, black pepper and a little bit of whatever, all purpose seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and the Maggi season, and what else? The simple things, whatever. You just um, make it your own. 
just be sure to taste as you go. I did add just a little bit of the chili powder again just to kick it up a notch. I added also some dried parsley flakes as well, all right? And you can of course substitute that out. And I did add some paprika. And again, y'all, I will list everything that I had used for the recipe in the description part of this video. Now, all we're going to do is give it a nice little mix. And as you can see what the cornstarch is doing here. Um, someone said to me a while back that they use cornstarch as a thickener for uh, gravy and it didn't come out right. It must have done something wrong because it does work, okay? Now, what you want to do here is add some ketchup to the mix. Not a lot because you don't want to take away the flavor of the sweet and sour. So just add a little bit of a ketchup. It is going to help to thicken the mixture here. Give it a nice little mix like so. And then you want to go in and add just a little bit of brown sugar. I'm using organic brown cane sugar here. Give it a nice little mix. let everything come together here I hope y'all is enjoying this recipe y'all because I was I'm more than happy to bring you this one okay so after everything is combined like that and you allow the thing to thicken at a very low heat I did go in and add some water here okay uh, maybe about a cup of water and also depending on how much you're making you could add more or less now as your color is concerned I am using the red food coloring here right just some of the bit also please please do not add too much because again once you put it in you cannot take it out so be sure that you kind of um, get a little at a time tips at a time and keep going until you get your desired color of your sweet and sour sauce of choice now what I'm doing here is adding my vegetables here now, for some of you that do not want vegetables into your sweet and sour sauce, this is where you would stop. But for me, honey, we are adding our pineapples and onions, and we're adding our garlic and our ginger, and give it a nice little stir and let it simmer for five minutes. After five minutes, y'all, this is what you have. Again, be sure that you give it a nice little taste to be sure that it is the flavor that you want. Let me tell you something, see this right here? It's amazing with seafood, y'all, amazing. Now, as far as your chicken is concerned, you could go ahead and dip one at a time. I love to dip it one at a time. I don't know why, but this is just my choice. You could dip all at the same time, or you could just separate your sauce into a container and serve it fried like you did it earlier without dipping and dip as you go along. But for me, I went ahead and dipped all eight pieces of chicken thighs here, put a little bit of the sauce on top for serving and presentation, sprinkled a little bit of dried parsley, and honey, 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 everyone love it. This thing was gone in like, let's say a minute, it was all gone, but I definitely wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the inside for sure, honey, and what it looks like when you dip it into the sauce. My goodness, you have to give this uh, sauce a try. It is awesome if you put it on fish, seafood, or anything like that. That is it, y'all. Um, I hope you did enjoy this recipe. This chicken, sweet and sour chicken drumsticks is amazing. You are going to love it. From start to finish, one, two, three, share this recipe with a friend, y'all. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell them what's going on up over here because, honey, they won't be disappointed with this good, nice, sweet and sour chicken drumstick in the kitchen every time street, all right? And just remember, as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy!